Welcome to Tamar Bowling Video Ball Reviews. For all your bowling needs, check out our partner PerfectAimBowling.com. Today we are testing the new Hammer Scandalous. We're testing on a 40 foot medium volume house shot and the PBA Chameleon 43 foot pattern. First impressions, I was immediately attracted to the Hammer Scandalous roll. The cover gives it a mid-lane read, while the ball seems to have a reliable pop-down lane. That's usually a good recipe. In terms of bang for the buck, the Scandalous scores a solid B. It's a lot of ball for rev dominant styles on your typical house shots, but it has strong back end motion that will bring it into play for matched players trying to blend the pattern and speed dominant players looking for a mid-lane read. Being a symmetric ball will also make it a bit more versatile. For house shot, we gave it an overall score of B+, and in sport shot, we also gave it a B+. The Scandalous marks the return of the big symmetric Scandal core into the high-performance line. Hammer has two ASIM cores currently in the top line, the Ripped and the Gauntlet cores. While they perform pretty differently, there is some redundancy in that line. I imagine Hammer will commit to the Ripped line being the latest, but I think the Scandal was a great rolling core, and I believe it left a gap when it left the lineup. It's got that smooth but boomy shape that I personally love. It's obvious that shape is back as soon as you throw the Scandal S. It's also obvious it's very aggressive with a rough surface finish. With the boominess in the back end, it reminds me of the track alias. In fact, they're quite close. Straight out of the gate from my style, this is a lot of ball and a house shot. I had to get pretty much at 4th hour on this fresh shot out to 7, 8, 9 breakpoint. The nice thing with this ball is that it really felt like it offered control of the lane, meaning I didn't feel like the ball was going to be lazy off the spot even while being that deep. And that's a nice feeling when you need to be in but are looking for a ball to do the work down lane. Comparing to the ripped solid, it actually covered a couple more boards for me as the ripped solid is just burning up more energy. And you feel more of that ASIM heavy oil ball chugging with the ripped solid that can look a little lazy down lane when it's not matched up to the correct volume of oil. Sean was next up with the Scandal S and with his higher rev rate and a bit more speed he was able to be at least as deep as I was and even further with no issues. The ball does need to see some oil to get down lane and it has the juice to turn the corner really nicely through the pins. Sean was very comfortable throwing this piece. If you're around 500 RPM and have decent speed, you can be wheeling and dealing with this Scandalous. A quick comparison to the Rip Solid shows you again that it's got that big core which is laboring a touch needing more oil. Brian was next and his game is quite different than previous two testers obviously with higher tilt and lower revs. Normally Brian can take full advantage of strong motion balls, however in this case the Scandalous felt strong in the fronts and mids but not enough punch down lane for Brian. It felt more labored for him. The only thing we could say is that it, it wasn't a good matchup to have a strong symmetric on this condition for him. We saw a similar strength and control with the rip solid. It definitely had more help in terms of down lane motion through the pins with the asymmetric core. We also tested the Scandalous on the 43 foot uh, PBA Chameleon pattern and it had a good look for me with the mid lane control but strong drive through the pins. I sometimes worry about aggressive back end when going more direct especially in a pattern like this for risk of over under. And that is a risk on this pattern, and despite its strength, I, I did prefer the more controlled shape of the ripped and original gauntlet on this pattern. The big difference here is the asymmetric versus symmetric core. The asymms just set a little better for me, giving me more control, especially from direct. Sean was next, and he had a very nice look with the Scandalous. The pattern's about six games old, and Getting deep with the symmetric core provides a nice shape for him. Sean is using that deep fallback shot. I mean, he's past the fifth arrow. The truth is he probably doesn't need this much surface at this stage. 
but he needed to get deep enough to not have the ball leave too quickly. Again, the ASIM look of the other hammer top end ball looked pretty good on this pattern. Brian had a much better look on this pattern. He's playing very direct as he normally does on this longer chameleon, and he saw a nice controlled arc to the pocket. Really simple and fairly effective. Final thoughts on the Hammer scandals. Yeah, Hammer set out to bring back a huge symmetric core into the top end and tried to give it more back end pop, and they did succeed with the scandals. It looks to be as aggressive as original, but the hybrid definitely gives it more jump down lane. Sometimes it's nice to be able to put a ton of surface on a ball and still save that angularity. And like the track alias, this is still a big ball, but without that really big ball snow tire feel that you sometimes see out of aggressive solid surface ASIM balls like Rip Solid. The transition from hook to roll is smooth but strong. On a house shot it pops more for me than the Rip Solid. And when the Rip Solid sees the right volume, look out as it also has the ability to really turn down lane. So on most conditions, many bowlers may be able to better take advantage of that pop the Scandalous offers more than a stronger Rip Solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah.